Hello, collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching. As always, let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on in this terror reading today. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, okay. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Anything the enemy has stolen from you, tried to steal from you, has been returned to you, is being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. Okay? As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So we have the Ace of Wands out here, followed by the Queen of Pentacles and Assist of Swords. So something, there's an opportunity that's being presented to you, dear. Whether you are a man or a woman, whoever you are, this is going to allow you to move on from some type of karmic situation. Someone has been trying to keep you in or people have been trying to keep you in. There's also a queen of pentacles behind the scenes that's having to move on because someone has been very determined to destroy another person's pathway, another person's uh, opportunities, career, all kinds of things. Someone did not want you receiving some type of opportunity, some type of offer, whether this is in love, life, whatever this is, business, romantic uh, position, whatever this is, someone did not want you receiving it. This woman behind the scenes, it's going through some type of ending. Hopefully, she's not passing away, but someone could be passing away. Someone could be experiencing endings in many aspects of their life, love, home, uh, whatever this is. Someone is experiencing a lot of endings. This could be like a queen of wands. Oh, the queen of wands came out. So there could be a queen of wands involved as well. My goodness. Tell us the tea, spirit, won't you? Tell us the tea. So there could be a queen of wands behind the scenes still going through her ending, just like a queen of pentacles is going through her ending behind the scenes. It is what it is. Balance always has to be burned in a situation. There could be a family fighting behind the scenes as well. Okay. But you collective, you are moving on. You're sailing on the karma waters. The universe is presenting you with a new opportunity. Okay. So we want you to know that everything is going to be a okay. You get to heal because this is something that's very essential to you. Healing is something that's very imperative for the Queen of Pentacles because this is something that allows you and enables you to stay grounded so that you can be the best version of yourself. And actually, I think this is something that is imperative and essential for everyone so that it can be the best version of themselves, be the higher form of themselves. I'm telling you, when you heal, this is what you are. You're able to be yourself, genuine. Embrace that inner child that is within you because a lot of us are ducks as we are growing up we have a lot of horrendous experiences that prevent us from being able to live like we want to be ourselves embrace that inner child within because a lot of those inner childs within us are bruised they're hurt they've been damaged because of what people did to us people took advantage of us in situations we didn't understand and instead of people stepping up especially the adults that were around us, instead of them stepping up to help us and enlighten us, they instead took advantage of us. So as we age and as we get older, we tend to get, um, I don't want to say bitter, but we tend to turn really hard and we'll take our anger out on other people, whether we know them or we don't know them. This is like the hurt people hurt people because someone hurt Jean, so Jean is going to go and hurt Betty and Betty is going to go and hurt Mary and the cycle keeps going on and on and on. And before you know it, we end up with a society of hurt people that are avoiding the things that they need to fix so that they can not fix uh, what is broken in society. So this is what's going on. There are those few of us in between that do actually choose to put in the work so that we can heal and be able to move on and help other people heal as well. So this is something you do for someone. You may not be aware of it, but Spirit is wanting you to know as well, this is, everything keeps coming out sideways. I don't know what this is, but we will find out. 
Uh, Spirit is wanting you to know as well that there is someone possibly behind the scenes that you may have really helped heal, grow understanding to, clarity to in a situation. You may not even know this person, to be honest with a lot of you, but this person is aware of you and they are grateful for the clarity that you have brought to them. There could be a queen, a king of cups behind the scenes that's going through some type of uh, blockage in his life. He may be trying to hold on to something he cannot hold on to. Or there is someone also taking action to hold on or uh, block this King of Cups from taking some type of action, okay? Exposing the truth, looking into something. But they will. This person is going to find the strength to move on with their life. And it does not mean that they are going to go and fall in love somewhere else. I think someone is just choosing to move on because they know they may have been misled by a group of friends, group of families whatever this is someone is choosing to move on take charge of your life okay you have a couple of masculines out here okay there could be a friend that is in the energy of the queen of king of cups why does the queen of cups keep trying to come out so there could be a queen of cups as well there could be someone trying to hold on to this king of cups to prevent him from moving on um and maybe this king of swords is also trying to come into your energy to present you with something or it's just moving on from a, a collaboration yeah someone is moving on everyone is having to move on even you collective source is enabling you to move on so you can seal onto calmer waters take charge of your life heal recover and start a brand new cycle somewhere else with people that are like-minded like you okay so you're going to be having genuine friendships with people not feeling stuck and blocked in some type of toxic uh, a situation you may have had people trying to hold on to you very very tight um because you could be someone that's naturally abundant and things like that and someone may be doing magic behind the scene or someone does magic and then know of your energy and the benefits of having a magnitude of your energy around. So they, they may have been they may have been trying to hold on to you and to prevent you from moving forward. But source is stepping in, your ancestors are stepping in to bring balance into this situation, and they are allowing you to walk away or to leave so that you can embark on a new journey where you will be abundant and you can plant seeds that will be fruitful for you. Okay. And someone has been trying to put an end to that. You could have someone, I'm telling you, someone has been trying to put an end to that. Um, you could have someone that is very, uh, I don't know if they're envious of you. There's something like that here. Like it's a woman going up against another woman trying to block her. Someone has been presenting, uh, pretending to be something they're not. Um, so this could be something that has come to an end. People are seeing this person for who they really are. Like someone has been pretending to be of high honor being someone that's business savvy being someone that's down to earth wise this is someone that gives people ill advice but acts like she knows what she's talking about but she doesn't know what she's talking about this is one of those like queen of pentacles that don't really take care of themselves is what i'm seeing someone that's just really wild and loose um very reckless with the mouth but they'll say things in a way where they'll make it seem like they're actually care about you and it's not really what it is if someone has some type of ulterior motive for why they are in another energy space, why they are around a masculine or a group of people and people are seeing this woman for who she is. She's having to walk away as well. Someone may be traveling. Hopefully they're not coming towards you to bring you problems. They may not even be allowed in your energy, but you will get the chance to move on with your life. You may have people that are going to be wanting to reach out to you from the past and sources advising you to just move on. People could have paid someone in the past or recently or whatever this is to block your work. If you were someone that was supposed to be like elevating and things like that, someone pay a character behind the scenes to block you from elevating, to block you from growing. If you have like a platform, someone may have paid another energy to block your platform from going viral, to block your platform from growing like it's supposed to and someone is going through some type of ending for that they they did not uh, expect to experience any type of setback setbacks for what they did but you know source sees everything we do everything we do is being recorded 24 7. you can kind of see us and consider us to be like 3d cameras like we are in flesh but we are cameras walking about the face of this earth and everything we are doing is being recorded and sent back to source to the spirit realm so they, so they always know what is going on 
people that are not really spiritual or don't really understand spirituality this is why they don't see a problem indulging in certain activities where they'll come after people trying to destroy their lives and things like that. And then they don't understand why things kind of fall apart in their life. It's because of the person you're coming up against. And second of all, you are kind of doing something you're not supposed to be doing. And there are consequences for everything you do. You have someone who have had your work interfere with, with this three of pentacles out here. Someone wanted people questioning your work right even your worth the word worth was about to come out someone or a group of people a couple of friends whatever this is wanted people questioning the legitimacy of what you were doing and, and of who you are they didn't want people to think that you were legit they wanted to wanted people to believe that you were impulsive they wanted people questioning questioning your mindset where your mental was where your heart is where your intentions are but people are realizing that this woman or man whoever this is they are really the one that people need to be looking into because something is just not right people are finding out that you are someone with a pure heart and clean mind a balanced mind you're just very open-minded to life and experiences and adventures and you have absolutely no problem starting over and you taking chances being optimistic and things like that whereas whoever this is that has been criticizing you behind the scene is quite the opposite this is someone that that is very impulsive lustful and things like that not very sturdy or steady enough for a commitment but they present themselves to be that way whereas you are more so on the traditional side of things you're in the upright if you're showing up here in the higher fan energy that means that you are quite a force to be reckoned with and someone maybe did not understand the magnitude of the energy that they were coming up against there is some type of balance being brought into this situation by an institution or someone of very high authority maybe bringing some type of balance into a situation i'm telling you this is you you're sailing onto calmer waters brand new beginning this is what they've been trying to block and it's just not being blocked spirit has made a final call judgment has been called okay uh, so you walking away and stepping out on faith is your judgment uh, wherever you're going, you will be fruitful. You are going to be very successful. Um, you'll just have to be patient with yourself. You may be embarking on some type of new journey that has to do with career. Someone may be coming towards you, taking some type of fresh start, uh, bold steps, right, to come towards you and make you an offer. Someone also behind the scenes may want to ask for your forgiveness in something they did. And this could be the person that possibly accepted the bribery to end your career block your forward movement even interfere with your platform if you are a content creator or prevent you from receiving a promotion at work if you work a nine to five it's a whole lot that's been going on with these karmics behind the scenes something like this i'm not sure how it plays out if someone interferes with your forward movement is that really someone you want to hear from to have closure from closure with Typically, if you are like an empress or something like that, or like a star seed, I think you typically just wish those kind of people uh, a farewell from a distance. You're not really looking for closure from these types of people because their character has been exposed to you already before they even come in your energy. And if they are willing to do something like that, imagine what, uh, what else they could do to you later. Okay. So someone may be wanting to take some type of action to come into your energies hopefully step out on faith with you but they are really going to have to walk away and just have a new beginning somewhere else because they did something that may have forfeited a contract you you may have had some type of universal contract with someone and they are just now realizing that someone pulled the wool over their head okay yeah someone pulled one on, on this someone pull a number or someone <laughs> this is like a jizzy bell pretending to be an empress and this whoever this masculine is is following this heifer around like a happy dog <laughs> have found an empress <laughs> have found a business partner i find someone that's like-minded as me and then only for them to realize that they've been with a clown the whole time they've been supporting a clown okay and this is justice for this to be exposed right for everyone to have to walk away for you to be able to have a brand new fresh start you may have made some type of declaration to the universe um and they are going ahead and taking action on your behalf to bring balance i'm telling you to bring balance into this situation 
So there's definitely someone trying to come into your energy just to hopefully mend things for some of you. Uh, I mean, to each its own, different folks, different strokes. Someone definitely wants to come into your energy. Um, they've made the decision to come and kind of confess things to you. They're trying to find the strength to travel. Maybe someone stays abroad, someone stays in a different state, a different country, whatever this is, maybe even a different city. They're trying to sneak away and come into your energy. I would just be mindful because if someone would do this to you after you were genuine to them, I don't know like how secure you can feel around this kind of person. Okay. You may have a, a feminine energy that wants to come and expose something to you about this person that's coming into your energy to ask for forgiveness. Is that hey, this is I just want you to know and this is what this person was doing behind your back. But they said, what were you doing? You know, those are those snitches. They always have something to say about other people. But when you ask them, yeah, this is a feminine energy that wants to come and bring conflict to you. But when you ask them what part they play in. The scenario is crickets, it's silence. It's like silence of the lamb. You're no longer hearing them. They, they have nothing to say, okay? This is how a lot of karmics operate. They can tell you what gene did from A to Z, but the moment you bring up their own actions, they're mute. Now they don't, they don't know how to talk. I'm telling you, they're mute. <laughs> they are mute. That's when they go quiet. It's not that they're doing any type of introspection. It's just that they don't have anything to say because the elephant is in the room. It's out there, right? So you have a lot of transitions going on here. People having to just move on with their lives. I'm telling you, they're just having to move on with their lives, okay? Someone is seeing that if they want to, I don't know if someone is going through some type of healing uh, process and they're seeing you as the twin flame this could be a past life connection but someone effed up royally before the connection even came together this is something where it's like the connection starts up really chaotic um and you have like your soul twin working with a group of people to destroy you or you have your soul twin that may have a problem with something you do for a living whatever this is and they decide they don't like it because of the background they come from and so they take action to block it destroy it or something like that or they pay someone to do it and now they want to come in to say they're sorry i'm honey as much work as i've done on myself that's a whole lot of forgiveness there oh baby that's a whole lot of forgiveness okay but source is providing you collected with a new opportunity so that you can move forward with your life Okay, someone may want to be committed to you. They want you to see them as someone that's worth a commitment. You may have a king of cups that's putting in more effort now to do more work or something like that. Um, but they are committing themselves either to their healing or to their career, their business, something like that. And you are about to go from some type of uh, stagnant situation to really exploring, exploding. You're about to grow rapidly. You're about to go through some type of rapid growth and this is something that's well overdue because this is what you have worked for you could be someone that ends up having like multiple streams of income you may be receiving some type of you know, letter good news about your uh, abundance maybe money how someone stole some type of money from you or something someone did to block your money to block your wealth you will be receiving some type of communication uh you may have a king of cups that now wants to commit to you i don't know how that's going to play out but you, each of you would choose what it is you want to do you may be receiving some type of information from a king of source as well these are all the characters that were involved in your ending in your demise, creating some type of ending a blockage for you. Some of these people may not have participated, but they stood by and watched something play out, right? So they could have done something, but they chose not to. And these may be the very people that try to reach out to you, right, when things are balanced out, okay? And you will be prosperous. We just saw this nine of pentacles come out, which means that things are going to go out and turn out in your favor, um, as it's been destined to do, you are the healer. You are the blessing. This is how people are seeing you. Someone was very determined to tarnish your image. And this is because of jealousy. Um, yeah. Someone, someone was very determined to tarnish your image. Someone wanted you trapped in your head. Uh, every time you took action to move forward, if you're choosing to move so forward, 
excuse me, someone wants you to feel trapped in your head about that. Like, hey, am I making the right decision? You're not confused. Move on with your life. Do not let anyone come in and cause any type of stagnation in your mind, in your life, cause you any type of confusion, conflict. You're not confused. There's a reason why Source is providing you with a new opportunity and getting and, and wanting you to move away from a group of people or a workplace. This could be like a toxic work environment, a toxic relationship, whatever this is. There's a reason why you are being granted a new opportunity to move forward because this is the energy people want you in. Okay. They want you blocked. They want you trapped. Someone may have been trying to bring you legal issues for money and things like that, but they can't. Right. Um, whereas someone is about to go through a whole lot of endings and you are elevating in life. Okay. Yeah. I'm telling you, someone is about to be going through a whole lot and this is how it's always been destined to be. There are people in this group that watch tarot. They watch multiple tarot readers and they thought that they knew how to go about something, but you can watch all the tarot you want. You still don't, you still don't understand what really you are listening to this is why you're the one going to the practitioner or you watching the videos right because there's something that each reader is always going to leave out so you never really know the full scope of what you are involving yourself in so you can go to all the practitioners you want light or dark they will always a hundred percent of the time they will always leave something out and you won't know it. So whatever action you take is never 100% guaranteed that it's going to go in your favor. Okay. And I know because I do not do my readings. I don't always say what I'm seeing because I know there are certain energies watching me trying to get the first, the, get the information that they need so they can go and do something to someone, block someone's forward movement. So certain things I see, I will not say. And even when they go to another reader to verify what I'm seeing, their reader is not going to tell you everything because we're not supposed to. And that's light and dark practitioners as well. It's both sides. Okay. Someone going through sorrows is justice. This is your ancestors intervening. They could be speaking to a masculine behind the scenes to bring balance into a situation. Or they did this. I'm telling you, they're talking to someone behind the scenes to bring balance into a situation. And maybe this person didn't do what they were supposed to do. So they're having a hard time ending a chapter. Someone is about to go through some type of long winded chapter of karma. And this is not something they were anticipating. Okay. Someone took some type of action to block. I'm telling you to block themselves. They thought they were going to be blocking you. You're showing up here as a high priestess. Someone thought they were going to be bringing you legal issues. They may not like your gifts. Maybe you expose the darkness within this person. Someone does not like you talking about certain things. You expose a lot to them about themselves, where they're liking. And I don't think this is something you do intentionally. I just think this is because they resonate with the messages that you are giving, or you may say something to this person when you are in their energy. And again, it bothers that, <laughs> that, demons within, that demon within them, and they take it personal when you really are not saying anything intentionally to anyone, okay? There could be a, a high priestess in here going through some type of ending. This could have been someone that took some type of action against you. Someone may be sending you some type of message about how someone tried to bring you legal issues, but they could not, right? They tried to bring you issues, but they could not. Someone is realizing that their magic is not as powerful as yours. Someone may be having to just kind of put down their source and move on and heal. Um, honey, this stuff is redundant. I'm telling you, your ancestors are intervening. So there could be a relationship in here that will more than likely be taking place. Yeah, it's going to be taking place. So you're going to have to forgive someone from the past. This is not someone you dated. So we don't want any of your exes watching and thinking that you're talking about them. This is a past life connection. This is someone who's your higher level soulmate or your swing, your soul twin, twin fling, whatever you all want to call it to make yourselves feel better. This is someone from a past life. You've incarnated with this person multiple lifetimes, many, many lifetimes, I'm being corrected to say. Um, and you two may be reuniting now to venture out into the world and 
embark on a new journey together. And this is something people have been trying to absolutely block from coming into fruition because the moment you and this person come together, like the uh, amount of abundance you are, you two are going to acquire or manifest is going to be just stupendous and it's going to cause a lot of envy. It's going to be like, why do these two people get to have everything? Like, yeah, I have a good job, but I don't have a good husband. Or I have a good job, I don't have a good wife. Like, she cheats on me, he cheats on me. How come they get to have true love? They get to have abundance. They get to have this. They get to have the business, the empire, and things like that. But it's like these pe two people did the work on their separate journeys before coming together. They actually took the time to heal. And this is why they get to get get to have everything. You two may come from like very ancient bloodlines, either Egyptians or Atlanteans. Um, there's something like that in here. Okay. So you two are, are like two ancient souls, very ancient, incarnate, incarnated. Okay. This could be like a Isis and uh Osiris kind of story taking place. And I think these two, whenever they incarnate together. Thing, this this plays out something like this happens where it's a hard time for them to connect people are interfering because these are very these are these are two very powerful energies almost like god like i think they could actually be god gods in their own rights okay of course not as powerful as the one and only god that created everything there is but these two could be very god like all right like creator gods they are very high ranking but every time they incarnate osiris has a problem with humans like he has a pro a jizzy bell problem like he tends to be very reckless when it comes to dating marriage and things like that is what i'm hearing osiris always seems to fall short on his side of the contract and isis is always the stern one just to go in about life sticking to her contract. She's very, like Isis seems to be very, very like direct on her contract, like she does not care. And I think this is because of how far Isis has come when she initially incarnated this Isis. A lot of people don't know this history, but when Isis initially incarnated, she lived to be like over 600 years old or oh, I think about 600 years old. And Isis was a healer. What they used to do was, she they, they would touch people to heal them, but the energy they were using was so potent, it was so strong that they used to have, like, have to wear like gold bracelets on their uh, wrist to protect the people they were touching so that they would not end up being unalive. So, Something happened where Isis, the people she was taking care of, she was in like a secret school with other beings like her. And it got to a point where I think she was the only one left or something, and they revere her as a god. Like they worshiped Isis, right? Um, Isis, because she was in this secret school, did not really learn the ways of mankind. She was not really familiar with how mankind moved about. They're trick, tricky ways. They are tricksters and things like that. So when she came out of this sacred school, she had to learn the different ways of mankind, but never really was able to. Anyways, she had this healing ability that was taught to her in that sacred school, and people got obsessed with that, and they thought that she could heal all of their problems, solve all of their problems. But they didn't realize that without that gold bracelet on, she could not touch them because it would lead to their death. So someone and the people got obsessed with like goals and things like that. So I think there was a man that went and forced her to touch him. Like he kept harassing her. And she, I think, was trying to tell him, like, I can't touch you. If I touch you, you're going to pass away. And he got like, I think, belligerent with her or something like that. And she ended up touching him without the gold bracelet and he passed away. Only for the group, the community to turn on her and call her a murderer and they stoned her to death. So that's the first lifetime Isis had. After that lifetime, Isis started incarnating, right? 
to learn those tricky ways of mankind, not letting mankind manipulate her, right? And unfortunately, in a few lifetimes, Isis was on a life because people kept tricking her. Usually when she incarnates and Osiris incarnate, the goal is for the two of them to eventually get together. And in every lifetime for these two to get together, there's a whole lot of chaos that's going on behind the scenes. Humans interfering with these with this with this uh, union coming together because when they come together, it's an extremely powerful union and it creates a lot of abundance. They're very affluent and influential, and people can be in, easily intimidated by them, especially when you have two people that are gifted, have spiritual gifts and talents. It's very intimidating for them for the rest of the population. This is some, sometimes why people will go out of their way to block this. Osiris has been dealing with the same Jizzy Bell energy for a couple of lifetimes, three, four, five lifetimes. And this is the same Jizzy Bell that he has been dealing with. It could be this queen of pentacles or a queen of wands behind the scenes that led him astray again this lifetime because this is a, a, a karmic lesson Os Osiris has been feeling for quite a few lifetimes. So hopefully, I think he's getting it right now. He's learning the truth about a situation. But these two go back quite a few lifetimes because they are so mixed, so twins. Okay? And this is why they're having problems. Like, it goes a lot deeper. Yeah, their union is always very abundant when they can successfully come together. There are a few lifetimes where they have not been able to come together. One, because either Isis was on a live because she followed the wrong person, accepted advice from the wrong person, or a man tricked her into something, or uh, Osiris got stuck with some unhinged energy that is able to manipulate him every lifetime. And it looks like she did it again this lifetime. But it may be turning out that he's seeing the truth about whoever this is that manipulated him and he's walking away from her. But the union between Osiris and Isis is a very abundant one. These are people that understand the art of manifestation, taking charge, having power, that balance between spirituality and physicality. These two people absolutely understand how to utilize that uh isis a little bit more than osiris because he's he tends to be a little bit more vain and even though he's godlike when he incarnates he's a he's quite vain okay and these two they are under the reign of uh who is this oh i forgot his name gosh i forgot his name if his name comes up i will uh say it but i forgot his name anubis they are under Anubis. So Anubis watches over Isis and Osiris. This is why a lot of the times these types of energies, when you come to do something to them, there's already a bodyguard there to protect them because Anubis is the one watching over these two, okay? They are in the same pod, the same spiritual pod. They're a uh, uh, soul tribe. These are the soul tribes within this group, and they are washed over by Anubis, okay? Okay, yeah. So it's a little bit deeper than what people think is going on. A lot of the times, humans would take actions to block something from coming into fruition, not realizing the karma for that is very, very hard, and sometimes it can be deadly. This is why you don't want to interfere with things that have to do with I guess you can say the gods, but that's kind of going a little bit on the extreme side, but it is what it is. We are talking about spirituality, um, but someone is burdened behind the scenes. People may be fighting with her for something she did because she brought a lot of problems to their group, their family. I'm telling you, she brought a lot of problems to their family, and they're not happy with her. So people may be fighting with the feminine energy behind the scenes. Or oh, this masculine, if this is Osiris, he's fighting with this woman behind the scenes, walking away from her. Um, there's always a spiritual aspect to what is going on. And unfortunately, people that are not really in that energy and don't understand, understand it, they don't take it seriously until 
push come to shove and they have to pay the consequences for their actions. Um, but it's a lot deeper uh, than what people than what people see it as face value. Okay. Yeah, so there's there is a ten of pentacles in here. You two will be coming together to build some type of business empire. Um, if there's something where someone inherited a business empire, it will be coming into fruition. This is a very positive message. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is a very positive message. Golly. Whatever balance was meant to be brought into this, to this situation, the justice that's playing out is not something people intended. This is like losing a home, by, uh, having to go through some type of foreclosure, filing bankruptcy. There could be a high priestess in here that's going through the same thing as well. Someone travels to a high priestess a lot, a lot. And she went and found out that she is going to be homeless. This is like what she wished for someone. This is a queen of pentacles. Whoever she went to to get a reading from, they told her you're going to be homeless. You're going to be losing everything. Absolutely. Whoever she was working with, I'm telling you, whoever she was working with, they're going through the same thing. It's like a king of wands, a king of pentacles, a queen, king, a queen of pentacles, a queen of wands. They're all going through an ending. They're all fighting behind the scene, or there could, there could be a community that's fighting behind the scenes. And your ancestors have been telling you, collective, just keep on moving forward. Focus on your path, on your contract. Focus on your purpose, your mission, and everything is going to be a-okay. Um, but these people are absolutely going through an ending. I'm telling you, yeah, this king of wands here is going through an ending. These are not things these people expected. Someone is being sat down by your ancestors, okay? Someone is being sat down. So I don't know, like I mentioned earlier, these two may not be able to come together or spirit is maybe putting him in time out to think about what he did, why he took the actions he took, why didn't he ask questions, why is he going, I'm telling you, because he was deceived. Osiris seems to be very vain when he incarnates, very vain, but on the spiritual plane, this is someone that's very quick-witted, very direct, overprotective, right? Very intellectual, but for some reason, every time this energy incarnates, he's very vain, okay? Absolutely, just childish, very easily led astray, easily manipulated, a bit of a pushover. I'm telling you, but he's not a evil or wicked person. He's just very like, I don't know what it, I don't know if it's naive, being naive. It's something like that. But everyone that had a hand in blocking this union is going through some type of ending. And Miss Queen of Pentacles up here that was pretending to be higher, uh, oh, what is it? Higher than thou or whatever, wiser than thou, holier than thou. Yeah, holier than thou. She's going through her ending. This high priestess has told her, you're losing everything. You temper with something you had no business tempering with. You're finished. It's what they told her. You are finished. Okay? And someone is like fighting to balance something back out. It's like if they did something, they're trying to undo it. But I don't know if they're going to be able to because some type of action has already been taken to bring balance into a situation. Like someone took some type of action. I'm telling you. Someone took some type of action to bring balance back into something and it's leading, yeah, your ancestors, the universe, they took action to bring balance. And these people are going through endings they could have never imagined. Absolutely never imagined. Okay? Mm, 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 mm. Someone should definitely have listened. It's that you're doing something and you're your higher self is telling you do not participate in this. You partner up with someone and your ancestors are telling you, hey, this person is not who they say they are. And they'll do this by making you feel uncomfortable around someone or feel uncertain around a specific energy. And it'll be very subtle at first, but then they will intensify that energy as time goes on. And they're leaving it up to you to make the decision to get away, to separate yourself from that person. Yeah, to separate yourself from that person or group.
But if you do not, then you have a hard lesson to learn. And it looks like everyone in here is learning that hard lesson. There's a king of wands in here whose money is looking real funny. Like he's falling from grace. Okay? Yeah, he, he, see, I'm telling you. He's having to do the math. Like, huh? what do I pay for today? Do I pay the light bill? Do I pay the gas bill? Do I feed myself? This is what someone is about to be in because he thought the money he had was all there was. Like it made him better than someone else. Someone thought they were invincible. Uh, he may be going through some type of shocking revelation as well about a situation he just did not understand. Typically, I'll do like full rows on here, but I'm going to do five today and just see what in the world is going on here. Um, but all of these people just know collective. They're getting their just dues <laughs> behind the scenes. They're getting their just dues. There could be a business that's going through some type of ending as well. <laughs> Lord have mercy. What possessed these people to, to do something like this? What in the world possessed these people to do something like this? That's something I'll never understand. Someone may be trying to uh, trap a king of Pent a king of yeah a king of pentacles in here, and he's standing his ground. He's decided I don't want to be part of this anymore. Someone has found their morals, I guess, and they're sticking to it. Yeah, he's removing himself. He's separating himself from these people. And I'm telling you, this queen of pentacles, she's having to move walk away. They told her you're losing everything and you need to let this go. But someone is so vain and superficial just so jealous someone is very hateful for no reason no reason at all and she's been told you need to walk away let this go like you are not in the up right here you had no business doing what you did you've taken this too far let it go and she's refusing to and something is not going to end in her favor but something she i don't even think she has a choice she, I'm telling you, you see this queen of wands here coming in the reverse. I'm telling you, honey. Mm. She's being exposed. I knew a queen of wands was going to come out. Her name kept trying to come out earlier. She's exposed too. Absolutely exposed. Someone tried to steal something from another energy and she was absolutely exposed. She's being, I'm telling you, your ancestors are not playing with these people. The angels... The angels are not playing with anyone in this situation. They're not playing. There's too much divine interven intervention going on here. You have the temperance, the two of cups, the ace of wands. You have the tower out here, the judgment card, and that justice card keeps trying to pop out too. There is too much divine intervention. The magician, the freaking eight of cups, uh huh. the freaking fool card is out here. Honey, it's just too much. Too much divine intervention going on, and people are being forced to listen and to change their ways. Okay, there are certain things that you get involved in if you don't understand it in its full scope. Do not get involved in there, and this has to do with playing with magic, playing with spirituality. If you don't take spirituality, spirit, <laughs> excuse me. If you don't take spirituality seriously, that's okay. We are all entitled to believe and not believe in what we choose not to or what we choose to believe in. But if you see the people that actually commit to it and choose to believe in it, minding their business, you need to mind your damn mother effing business too. Do not come after them, trying to take from them, trying to block them, trying to unalive them, end them. You're calling for nothing for karma. Someone goes to practitioners and she doesn't even understand what the heck it is they're telling her. She just wants them to tell her, yeah, this person is going to be on a life. This person is going to be homeless. Not realizing that the fact that they are going to go find out and hoping that this happens is them putting out negative energy into the universe, into the planet. And that energy has to be balanced out. So it has to be returned to you because whoever you're sending that to has no ill intent for you. So it has to come back to you. They don't, whoever you're sending that nasty energy to, they don't have time for that stuff. They don't have time for it. This is like the mean girls club. And this is what mean girls do. Bitter mean girls. Still in that childish middle school, high school mindset. Think that thinking like it's okay to group up together, to bully someone, steal from someone, block someone, 
lie on someone's smear someone's character so they can block a union or something this was a whole freaking past life connection that these people are trying to block and spirit is sitting someone down sitting them down it's a lot of divine intervention here spirit said oh wait you're not ready yet osiris you're still out here fooling around you're still letting the ways of mankind lead you astray I think at this point when Isis and Courtney's, she may not even be expecting Osiris to do his part. It's just that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, she's not expecting him to do his part because he's too busy being tempted by humans. So at this point, Isis has no expectation of Osiris to arrive at their meeting spot, <laughs> at their destination. She's just that, yeah, I already know how this is going to play out every lifetime we freaking incarnate he does the same thing and i have to find the strength to keep carrying on and fulfill the contract every freaking lifetime she, i think she's fed up this is like being in a marriage where you're fed up with your partner but the courts won't let you divorce or something like that the courts as in the universe is like this is a divine contract you two have to make it work the 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 spirit realm the console they are like the elders that they are sent to mentor or console everyone to stay together yeah console <laughs> oh my god oh let them to console everyone say you have to stay together this is a divine contract i know he gets on your nerves i know he doesn't you know follow through on his end of the contract i know but things will get better and isis is just there like i know things are not going to get better i'm sick of this mother effort he does it every lifetime i put in the work and he never does he's always out here following these juicy bells around i'm so sick of this mess he's not healing he's not fulfilling his end of the bargain he's not helping anyone heal he's reckless with his mouth and his body i can't do it and source is just the the console is just that like, we hear you honey we hear you but we have to be patient with him and it, she's probably probably like yeah you can be patient with him but i don't have to be i'm done oh my gosh Osiris, isis is fed up it's really interesting that this story is coming out today but isis is absolutely fed up that she's more disciplined than osiris and i want you all to see the story of Osiris, how he was on a life. Isis was on a life. I mean, not Isis. Osiris was on a life because what? His brother, it is said that his brother tricked him into getting into what? A casket. He told him they were playing a game. Now, I don't know what kind of game you play where someone tells you to lay in a casket and you just think it's fine and dandy. Because first of all, he and his brother never had a good relationship. Okay? Os Osiris and Seth never had a good relationship. So why would he tell you to get in a box and you get in a box? Apparently, they were playing a game and a few people lay in the freaking casket. And when it was Osiris, it's time to lay in the casket. He got in the casket. I'm sorry. If I have a sibling or a friend that rubs me around wrong one too many times, I don't want to play any games with you. That's how you need to think. But some people, they give certain people too many chances. If your brother tried to unalive you one or two times, I think that means that you should not be hanging out with your brother, right? Okay, so Osiris is very vain, naive. This is why he's led astray very often. And the, <laughs> the source came out. Maybe I'm putting too much of Osiris business out there. But I guess maybe he'll watch this. I don't know <laughs> if he even knows he's Osiris. Because this is someone that chooses to be very naive when he incarnates. If he knows he's Osiris, sir, this is your story. You are very naive. You need to grow up. You need to grow up. Yeah, I'm telling you. There's a whole family going through some type of change. Or someone is having some type of revelation about a whole family. Someone he's been partnering up with, a group he's been partnering up with, and he's a pushover just like I said he was. I, honey, please, I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lot. 
whoever Osiris is in this story, he's a pushover. He does what other people tell him to do. Is that bend over? He bend over. They're about to stick a freaking stick in your behind. Why are you bending over? Go here. He go there. They're plotting your ending. Don't you want to ask question why they're telling you to go there? Like someone is very just dumbfounded. And I don't know if he does this or just flees people and he's miserable the whole time, but he's learning a lesson the hard way. Someone could just now be finding out that they are of an ancient bloodline and they have a soul contract with someone else who's also very ancient. Lord, he's late to the show. Golly. Can you imagine having this kind of soul partner? Oh, Lord, look at that. It came out. <laughs> Uh, woo, this union is being exposed so this definitely is osiris and isis coming together lord have mercy sir this is your origin this is your beginning you've been betraying your counterpart for many many lifetimes grow up okay maybe she's easy with you listen i say easy with you so she's very gentle and understanding with you she's nurturing and there's some type of journey you go through every lifetime where you end up with a bunch of karmics that are disassociated with your emotions and you end up in some type of toxic cycle where you are surrounded by people that don't operate from their heart space and you often will run into ISIS and you'll go through some type of awakening because she's healing you in some way, either by the things that she's saying to you, she may be encouraging you to do things because they make you feel happy make you feel fulfilled right you're not doing things because other people are telling you to do that and it's a little bit different for you and it, but it causes some type of awakening so she's very nurturing to you i see that's why every lifetime you are incarnating and doing the same thing because you said well i this is gonna you're not saying it in your your fit with your physical mouth but your soul maybe they're saying well i this is going to understand once i connect with her she's going to heal me you hooligan you rock rats you mama and Gemma, you are a piece of work piece of work i says maybe getting i says may get uh i'm telling you mm, this is coming out sideways <laughs> what do i do collective i'm just gonna put it up the truth is being exposed about something someone did or a couple or family did to cause someone some type of ending. Like they wanted to make sure you were not here anymore, not moving forward, not prosperous, but that's exactly what you're doing. Something is ending for you and something new is beginning in these people. Something is ending for them and a whole new karmic cycle is beginning for them. You're in the clear. You're free to go. Osiris may have blocked trapped himself with these people i was trying to get the word out oh man he may have trapped himself with these people so this is a lesson he may have to learn again it looks like the juicy bell had another victory over him this lifetime <laughs> Woo! <laughs> can you imagine her incarnating lifetime after lifetime just to fail to the same energy oh my gosh this freaking queen of wands this is the one that's been leading him astray he may have this woman too that's been leading him astray so he's dealt with these people before even isis may have encountered these people and she saw them for who they were and she said i'm out of here i don't want no parts of this i've learned the lessons i need to learn it is time for me to go i'm telling you and you collective if you are Isis or whoever this is resonating with, you're about to connect with your new soul tribe. Genuine people, all right, compassionate with the same mindset as you and why Osiris has to be vigilant where he's staying. Lord have mercy. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is you, collective. I knew it. <sighs> oh my gosh and you're having your wish fulfillment things are going your way and someone in here may be really pissed off 
with the fact that things always go your way they're like why does she always get her way why does he always get his way when they say um this is how it was destined to be their contract said if they do what they're supposed to do then they always get what they want from source so that's what's going on okay so you you collective you're coming out of the cold yeah and you're being elevated you will be appreciated for what it is you're doing or what you do okay i have to hurry and finish this because my battery is dying so let me go ahead and do our angel number then we literally just told the whole story of isis and when isis incarnated her name was Ezzy, not isis i think we say isis during the morning days but it was Ezzy's. very a very gentle soul very kind-hearted but they said the people really revere her they saw her as a god they thought she was better than them but they worshiped her and she never wanted to be worshiped they saw her as very beautiful but she never wanted to be worshipped by mankind. Here we go. We have two, two out here which has to do with coming together. So maybe they will, honey. I don't know. I don't want to lie to you all. But anyways, we have three. You get, you're getting your soul, connecting with your soul trap like-minded people. Okay? And you will be very prosperous in your new beginning collective. So we have two. You have keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guy and supporter. I am intuitive. And then we have 10, which has to do with completion. A cycle is over. Okay. You have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and, all, and allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details then direct others how to carry things out i am ingenious okay anyways thank you for watching collective stateless and goodbye for now